What is going on, people? It is your boy, Daddy Mac, and welcome back to another Pokemon Sword and Shield Wi-Fi battle. We are having our first Wi-Fi battle with this team in this video, and um, we're using a team built around Inteleon, so if you guys have not checked out the team builder, make sure you guys go do so after this video, since you guys are already watching. But we are against Cheesy, who's also bringing an Inteleon, and he's also bringing Rillaboom, or no, his name is Darmanitan, not Rillaboom. But he's also bringing Cinderace and Lycanroc. So he's, he has a pretty scary team, if I'm being 100% honest with you. And because of that, I kind of want to start Inteleon. But I'm 100% I'm afraid of the uh, big boy Dar. So I think what I want to do is... You know, he's probably going to start... Roroark. So because of that, I kind of want to go Crocodile. I'm going to start Talonflame. You guys are probably not going to agree with me here, but I'm going to start Talonflame because if he starts the, if he starts with the uh, Zoroark, I'm going to go ahead and just U-turn out of there. I'm Choice Band, uh, or Choice Bandit, so it should do a lot of damage. So we'll see. We're against Cheesy. Cheesy's bringing a pretty, pretty cool team. It's kind of scary to an extent, mostly because of the Darmanitan and the uh, Cinderace, but it is what it is. It is what it is. Rip and Tear. Which is the Lycanroc. That is cool. That is really cool. I'm going to go Talonflame here. And I'm I'm honestly scared of this thing having uh, Excel Rock. So what I'm going to do here is go... Oh, no. Don't do that. Don't drift on me. I'm going to go Amoongus. I'm just using my little Switch controllers. This thing right here. That's why it drifted a little bit. Um, but I really, I really dropped it. And I think... I, I dropped it really hard. And I think that's what triggered the... Um, the drift. But it is what it is. I can fix it. Anyways, I, I have a Moongus. He's going to go Stone Edge. So I should have U-turned in all reality. Wow, that did a lot of damage. That did a lot of damage. Do I want to Spore here? I kind of do, if I'm being honest with you. I'm going to Spore and then Synthesis. Or Synthesize. Is that a word, Synthesize? Synthesize. I think that's the correct term. I think that's the term I want to use. All right, so he withdraws. Whatever's coming in is going to fall asleep. Esmeralda comes out. The Togekiss, which I'm okay with. I'm 100% okay with this thing. Put this thing to sleep. Go bye-bye. Go sleepy-bye now. And then I'm going to go ahead. I'm I'm honestly don't, I'm not needing to synthesize here because, um, because I have Regenerator. So what I'm going to do here, is it time for the sweep? I think it's time for the sweep, my boys. I'm really tempted right now. I'm highly tempted to just go into Elyon and set up the focus uh, energy here. But at the same time, Mr. Mime wouldn't hurt. Mr. Mime would not hurt. Okay, so I'm going to... Oh, stop that. That wasn't the drift. That was me. So I'm going to go Mr. Mime here. And I'm, and I'm going to threaten this thing with a Thunderbolt. That's my goal. So go Mr. Mime here. Scratch my face a little bit because I'm Mitchy. Esmeralda is fast asleep. And I'm honestly just going to threaten this thing out with a Thunderbolt. Go for a Thunderbolt. I need some Mata. I need some Agua. I need some Agua. I'm getting a little bit of a headache. All right. We still got Fall Guys to record today. So I'm so excited today. All right. So you withdraw Esmeralda, which is 100% okay. And I look like it was awake for a moment. You know, part of me was about to click Magical Leaf. I'm kind of glad I didn't. All right, Thunderbolt, going to do a pretty good amount, and I'm going to go back into Amoongus, uh, should I? I think I want to go back into Amoongus, or maybe predict the Rock-type attack and go Crookedil here. That's the move. I'm going to go Crookedil. Big Boy Crook is coming out. And so if you want to hit me with your Rock-type attack, okay, you're going Self Rock, which is also fine. That's fine. Talonflame doesn't appreciate that, to be honest, but that's fine. Because of that, I'm honestly just going to go for the Crunch. Crunch is a safe attack, right? Yes. Go Crunch. I outspeed this thing, so I, I'm good to go. Boom. This thing gets knocked out. And just like that, you get knocked out. Moxie. Moxie gets boosted. The boosted gets Moxie. Moxie Boost, who is a YouTuber. Go check him out. I think he's still a YouTuber. I, I can be wrong. But just type in Moxie Boost. Anyways. What are you going to do? I, I have a feeling he's going to want to go Togekiss. 
but I can be wrong. If you want to go into something like Cinderace or Intellion, Chaps.com, so you, you gotta have Shiny. In this case, it's uh, Cinderace. I should outspeed you. I should outspeed you, so I'm gonna go Crunch. I'm plus one. Can I knock out? Can I knock out? I'm at him in nature. Oh no, miss? Miss? Please? If you love me? Okay, you don't love me. Which is rightfully so, because you have your own trainer. Crocodile goes absolutely down. He goes down pretty hard. It's the same I gotta use Crocodile a little bit more in this battle, but it is what it is. I'm gonna go Amoongus now. If this thing wants to hit me with a Pyro Ball, I'm really not gonna appreciate it, to be honest. I'm not, I shouldn't, I shouldn't do that. Should I? Should I? Is this thing banded? Is this thing banded? Oh man, I'm kind of nervous. I shouldn't have, I should not have switched into a Moongus, but I'm gonna clear Smog anyways. Pyro Ball. Okay, so you obviously can switch attacks. What's your item? I'm probably going down, boys. Oh no, I messed up bad. This, this was a misplay. I'm living at two. I will take your Cinderace. I will gladly take that bad boy. I got Regenerator, so I'm just gonna switch out. I'm gonna switch out. I get Black Sludge Recovery, and then I get Regenerator. So Amoongus is not completely going down. Amoongus is still a really good factor in this battle, so I'm keeping you around, Amoongus. I'm 100% keeping you around. That was a little bit scary. I had a feeling I was gonna live, but he might have gotten the low roll. I'm not sure. Maybe you guys can search that for me. What are you going to go into? My Amoongus has Regenerator, so I'm honestly, whatever he comes into, I'm going to switch out. I'm going to switch out. And I am, I'm wanting to, do you get all your shinies from websites? What's, what's going on here? All right. So I am going to switch and I'm going to go Snorlax here because I'm going to predict that this thing is special. Watch him have focus energy also. Watch him have focus energy also. I wouldn't be mad, to be honest. I would not be mad. Okay, Air Slash, he is. Okay, he's special. We should be able to take this. Like a champ, my boy. Okay, I'm gonna go Body Slam here. I'm going Body Slam because whatever wants to come in is probably gonna get paralyzed. That's okay. That's 100% okay. So he's not running focus energy. Honestly, if I were running Focus Energy, I would not run U-Turn, which is why I think he's not running Focus Energy. Esmeralda comes back out, who is still asleep, and Body Slam is uh, just going to hurt her. Boom. Is this the Zoroark? It's not. I'm going to go Body Slam again. Fast asleep, as you should be, and then Body Slam again. Boom. Uh, I didn't get the knockout. She's probably going to wake up this turn. He's probably gonna wake up now. Yep, I thought so. Aura Sphere. I should be able to take it. At least a little bit. Yes, Snorlax! That's what I'm talking about. It's a crit! We live with a crit! That's what I'm talking about, my boys. That is what I am talking about. Okay. Okay, what do we got here? What do we got here? This is a pretty short video. This is a pretty short video so far. Whatever comes in next, I'm just gonna blow up. I'm gonna go self-destruct here. I'm 100% okay for, uh, self destructing on this next play. So if you go Italian, Italian's gonna go bye-bye. Watch him rage quit. Watch him rage quit. Man, I really love this Snorlax. I've been wanting to use Gigantamax Snorlax also, but I don't know how to use its uh, G Max ability. Its G Max move yet. Loretta comes out, and to be honest, we're probably going down. So we're gonna self destruct here. We're probably going to go down. If you want to go for the Ice type attack or the Fire type attack, that's fine. Then headbutt. Then headbutt. We live, we're going boom. Oh no. No. <laughs> Imagine if we survive that. Icicle crash. I really wish we missed. We're going down. We're going down. Snorlax, he did a fantastic job, my friend. I really wanted to punish this thing. So hit me with the Zen headbutt, which Italian is not gonna appreciate. 
And Mr. Mime probably won't appreciate an attack from this thing either. <sighs> I think I'm gonna go Talonflame. I really wish at this point that I brought another attack other than Gale Winks. Or other than uh, Prey Bird. I really wish I, I brought in something else. It's not like it matter because of the uh, because of the stealth rock, anyways. But I really wish I brought in. Uh, I, I really couldn't do anything about it. We outspeed it, my boys. Can we do something about it? Loretta goes down. Talent flame. You're a savage. Thank you for proving me wrong. Whatever comes in next, we're just gonna we're just gonna hit it with the flare blitz. I don't care what it is. I do not care what it is. Wow. Okay, PokemonLive.com is the Italian. And we're just gonna hit this thing with a Flare Blitz. This team is actually pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. I, I really like this team. I love this team. And we haven't even gotten to use the uh, Inteleon in this, in this uh, battle. I don't like Shiny Inteleon for sure. It w I wouldn't mind having it, but I, I prefer the Irregular. I don't like the pink. It's the Zoroark, that's why. Okay. I was a little bit surprised we knocked out, but I didn't read the text. So I, uh, and I didn't even pay attention if the text came out for it being super effective. We're not, not very effective, whatever the case may be. So I should have I should realized it was a Zoroark. Okay, now here comes the Inteleon. And Mr. Mime is just gonna finish this thing off with the Magical Leap. And don't go away. Don't click out of this video quite yet. Because I got something special for you guys after this. It's a, it's it's gonna be awesome. So just stay tuned. Just stay tuned. Stay tuned. Come on. You're going down. You don't have focus energy, so there's no way you're gonna survive. There's no way you can There's no way you can come out on top of this. Okay, Dynamaxing probably in the getting that it's Dynamax, yep. Look at the way it comes out. And we're we're looking at a shiny Gigantamax Intellion right now. That is beautiful. 100% beautiful. Okay, I had a feeling it was going to outspeed me. Hydro Snipe. That was... You no, know, Mr. Mime didn't appreciate that. Mr. Mime did not appreciate it. Or Mrs. Or Mrs. Mime. I've really been wanting to nickname it, but I forgot to, to be honest. I have a feeling we're gonna go we're gonna lose this because of this. Okay. I got a feeling it's running a flying type attack. Hellstorm, it's not. Okay, that's good news then. And all of a sudden, we're at our final Pokemon. Both of us. Both of us at our are at our final Pokemon. So it's just a matter of what he has next. It's just a matter of what he has next. Honestly, I don't think I need um, a focus energy because I think I have an attack that will lower his, um, let's see, special defense. So that's what I'm, I'm gonna Dynamax and I'm gonna max guard here. So it's the Battle of the Inteleon. Battle of the Inteleon, regular versus shiny. Who do you got? Place your bets in the comment section right now because this is, this is really going to come down to the last Pokemon. Which we both are on our last Pokemon, so... Look at this. Look at this. Look at that! He kind of just like, uh, let me put my, my water gun on my finger real quick. Alright. Max Guard. That way we can protect ourselves from whatever shenanigans this thing is trying to throw at us. Buffed by the hail. What did he try to hit me with again? I didn't read it. And then I'm gonna hit this thing with the max max, uh, is it max? No, max darkness lowers the special defense. We're gonna do that, yep. Bye bye, Inteleon. You kiss your trainer goodbye. You kiss your trainer goodbye. Wow, look at my shiny, look at my, it's not shiny, but look at my Inteleon. This Inteleon is just like, bruh, you about to beat us. Um, bruh, yes I am. Air Slash, okay. We can't flinch anyways, so I'm not worried. Boom. And you know what? Just to finish it off, 
We're gonna hit him back with the Hydro Snipe. Okay, maybe not. Maybe not. Did I? Did I? I think I want to do it, to be honest. I think I want... I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Just, just for memes. If I lose this, I'm not even mad. Because I technically won. I technically won this. I technically won this. You go for a U-turn. Okay, that's fine. It's a crit! It's a crit! Hydro snipe. Just for me. Boom. We knock it out with the hydro snipe. I, I had a feeling we were anyways. But that's just a kick in the nuts. That's all I gotta say. That's a kick in the in the wowzas. Cheesy, thank you so much for that Wi-Fi battle. It was pretty fun, to be honest with you guys. Don't click away just yet, because we have another battle coming right now. And it's going to be so special. Fallings, this is going to be for you. What is going on, people? It is your boy, Daddy Mac. I am so sorry. I already started the battle. But we are against Enzo here, who is bringing a really cool team. And... This is kind of a blind battle for you guys. I'm so upset because the team builder didn't record like I wanted it to because I muted my mic and I'm so upset. But this guy is bringing such a cool team. I wanted to record it for you guys. How much time is left? 43 seconds for me to choose a move. And I started with Inteleon here. So what I'm going to do here is just go focus energies, just start things off. Make sure you guys leave a like if you guys are hyped for this battle. We're going to be doing two battles today because I kind of started this one in a hurry because I really wanted to I wanted you guys to see this guy's team because it's so beautiful. But, anyways, um, I honestly didn't even choose my Pokemon to start with. I kind of just let it go because I was trying to figure out my mic settings. And um, I started with Italian. So because of that, we're starting Focus Energy. But there's Enzo's team. Look, he's got the Yoshifu. He has the Dragapult. The Excadrill. So he has a lot of really cool Pokemon. And because of that, I'm, I'm really just wanting to uh, record this battle with him. So, I'm going to go ahead and just click Snapshot right off the bat. It's going to be a critical hit. So, this thing is going to do some damage. It's a crit! And it's sturdy. Okay. He's probably going to set up spikes, which I'm 100% okay with. Yeah, he's going to set up spikes. I've used this Skarmory myself. I know how this, uh, how these things play. Okay. So, um, Dark Pulse here. We're going to go ahead and do Dark Pulse. Dark Pulse. And this thing is going to get knocked out. Whatever comes in next is not going to appreciate an attack from this Inteleon. For sure. For sure. We don't got any defoggers or anything like that, which is a little bit of a shame. Because he did get the Stealth Rock up against my Talonflame. And uh, so on and so forth. The Dragapult comes out. Part of me wants a Dynamax. Um, but I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm just going to do it. And we're going to Max Phantasm. Right? Is that the... Should I do it? Should I do it? <laughs> Honestly, should we just start with this video? I misclicked. I didn't know. Oh, I still outspeed, though. I still outspeed this thing. And this thing's going down. Oh, my goodness gracious. Falling's no wonder you enjoy using this, this Italian. <laughs> it's so fun. It is extremely fun. Pokemon is a fun game, everybody. This is how you should use Italian. This is how you should use Inteleon. We're gonna use it out. Okay, I'm okay with Roserade. I actually am going to hit you with, um, they're both the, the same, essentially. Dark Pulse. I'm gonna do Dark Pulse just because you have the chance to flinch. So here comes the Dark Pulse. And this thing's gonna get knocked. Oh, no, it's not. It's pretty bulky in the special defense side. It flinched! It flinched! I can't believe it flinched! Wow, that's amazing. Dark Pulse. We're going to make her Shifu our baby here. Inteleon's literally going to grab her Shifu, pick it up, and just going to rock it like this. It's going to rock it. Okay. Oh my goodness. Inteleon has already knocked out three Pokemon. Build a bear, which is the Shifu. I thought so. This is Rapid Style Striker Shifu. He's not very, very bulky in the special side, so this is probably going to knock out. I should have Dynamaxed also. Because I had a feeling he was going to Dynamax. But it is what it is, you know? It is what it is. Rapid Style Striker Shifu. My favorite out of the two forms. I just love that blue figure on it. The blue coloring. 
The blue coloring with the white just complements it so, so well. Shadow Ball, knock it out. No, it's not gonna knock it out, of course. Special B drop? No. You're gonna hit me with the max airstream, which is understandable. And I'm probably going down. I'm not going down. I almost did, but I'm not going down. So I should take this opportunity to actually Dynamax now. So I'm gonna go um, Max Phantasm again. He had to Dynamax at this point. It was his best chance of winning. It was his best chance of winning. I should have, part of me wanted to go, he's probably, is he running Aerial Ace? Is that his flying type attack? Look at this! This is the first time I've seen Inteleon. Wow! I am so impressed. And you guys can't see my hands, but I'm holding them like this for some reason. Max out of stream, please live it, Inteleon. Please. I know you're frail. We live it! And then you're going down, Rishifu. You are going down, my friend. Inteleon, you, you are a god. You're the best out of the three Galarian starters. Because of your sniper focus, uh, uh, focus energy. And uh, build bear goes kaboom. Wow. I am so happy right now. You guys have no idea. This Inteleon is so fun to use. That is not even funny. If this thing is Garf, it's gonna, it's gonna outspeed me for sure. But, Inteleon put in some work against my opponent. Knocked out four Pokemon. He rage quits. Oh, man. This made me feel really good. The, the, the way... I know I didn't start this video like I wanted to, but... You know, we're, you know what we're going to do? We're going to do another Wi-Fi battle right now. And I'm just going to put this in the front. And then this is going to be a bonus clip at the end. But, I'm going to end it right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys... Leave a like if you enjoyed that Inteleon sweep. Comment down below on your thoughts about this Wi-Fi battle and your thoughts about Inteleon. Who's your favorite of the three Galarian starters? And subscribe to my channel for more Pokemon Sword and Shield videos. I will see you guys next time.